plaintiff Spider Cuz says he's been searching the city for the evil doing defendant who owes him money for a party performance. He's suing for $1,000. Defendant Morris Cordwell says Spider Cuz is spinning a web of lies because the cops shut down the festivities before either of them swung into action. What is this? Uh, yeah. Okay, we have... Uh, Spider Cuz. Spider Cuz? Yes. And Batman? Yeah, they call me Batman, yeah. I, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know Spider-Man. What's Spider Cuz? Basically, how Spider Cuz became about was, you know, I was laid off from work. I was sitting on the couch just watching all the protesting with George Floyd and all that. Sure. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna just order me a costume. So I went out there to protest. I don't know if you have the video, you should have the video here. Oh, there you go. That's and me. I'm in the front. We in the front with it. You know that came outside to save the day. And they know, and they know we going viral. Black Lives Matter. Why, Why as a superhero? superhero? Because, yeah. one, because we needed one. You know, during the quarantine, people was dying, people was catching coronavirus, and it was like a hard time ship. And I just basically twisted this unique character and put it into my own kind of way. A superhero, what do you do for people? Make them laugh. You know, people be telling me, like, yo, spider cuz I was having a hard day today. But I go to your page and I watch your videos, and it just makes me feel good. Oh, okay. How did you become Batman? I saw him on, you know, Instagram Live and everything saying Batman and all that. Oh, okay. And I just felt like, you know, that's my favorite superhero. And he over here on Instagram Live disrespecting my favorite superhero. Oh. You know what I mean? And then yeah. I was just like, I got to be Batman. I got to represent. I got to stand up. <laughs> oh, man. Your sense of social obligation is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> so you... <laughs> You had to defend Batman's honor. I, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he said bad things about you. Yeah. He said bad things. So yes. why are you suing Batman? Okay, Batman, so what it seems to me, is a superhero, too. I'm suing Batman because we had an event, right? We had an event at a mansion party, correct? Oh, so that was nice, yeah. That was nice, you know, because I, I was already getting gigs because I did a dance called the Coochie Scout. You know, I'm going to show you how to do it the real fast. The Coochie Scout? You got to do it, too. Yeah. Hey, you got, hey, oh, that's the Coochie Scout. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, Jerry, oh, all right, yes, yes. So, I, uh, go ahead. All right, okay. so basically. So, wait, wait, okay, so he tells you about a, a an event. Yes. This was a gig where you would get paid. We both paid. get paid, yeah, we both, we both get paid. paid. Yes. Okay, and how much were you to get paid? It was 1500 You were going to get 1500 yes, for this 1500. event? Yes, so he basically gave me a deposit of 500 Oh, sorry, so you got the deposit of 500 I got the deposit, yes. It was 5 out of my pocket. 5 uh, out of okay, my pocket. Okay, 5 out of your pocket, but still, you still said okay. you, 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 I didn't, you requested, you said, I will give you $1,000 when, when you come to the and party. And you're saying you didn't get the 1000 I didn't get the 1000 So there was a party being thrown. Yep. And they invited me. It was a secret location, and then they wanted me to come. Right. And then I thought it would be cool if me and Spider Cuz you know, doing that little thing in there. Well, sure. You know, and we both getting money. Yeah. And I gave him 500 out of my pocket. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so when I got there, when we arrived, you know, we met, we greeted the people, you know, we supposed to have like a little, you know, a little. T -t -t -t, okay, a know? little entertainment. A little entertainment, little pictures stick, yeah. and all that. So 15 minutes prior to the party, cops was everywhere. I have evidence of that too. The, the mansion party that actually got shut down. It got shut down yes. because it was during COVID. During COVID, yep. Yeah, How many yeah, people were at the people. party? Like four, five hundred, four to five hundred. Well, people four, there. five hundred yeah. people are not supposed to that's, congregate during the COVID. That's yeah. that's that's correct. That's correct. I didn't throw the party. I just got booked for I it. I didn't throw the party either. Oh, I know uh -huh. that. Yeah, you, you weren't responsible. But the party shouldn't have taken place. You're, you're definitely right. Okay. But I think that it was, you know, quarantine. And so you're suing him because you want the other thousand dollars yes. for a party that shouldn't have taken place. Okay. So this is what happened. Okay. Okay, look, so during quarantine, you know, it was rough times, the money was rough, yep, so yep. he said, yo, I got I, I give you 1500 I give you five here, and I will give you $1,000 as soon as you appear at the party. Okay. okay, so what happened is, so after we got done taking the pictures, whatever case may be, cops was everywhere. By the time I look around, he was going somewhere flying through the screen. Echoes, everybody was trying to, like, get out the, the scenario. Yeah. I'm crawling, I'm ducking, I'm trying to get out of there. Didn't find him, so I wound up leaving. So when I wound up leaving, I tried to contact this guy, and he had no... No calls answering, no nothing. Okay, and he, I didn't but he didn't paid. get paid either. I didn't Did get, get paid. paid? But no, I didn't get paid either. He's in the same boat you are. Okay, exactly. But, 
All right. So, okay, so he wants the other thousand from yeah. you. Yeah, and the next you know, get shut down. You saw the clip. Yep. And then, I'm not going to lie to you, I left. I was the first one out there. Everyone left, you know? <laughs> Well, you know, uh, I'm not staying around. Why well, am I staying around for? Did though? you have your Batmobile there? How'd you get out? I want to go to jail. He flew out. Yeah. I want to go to jail. <laughs> he me? flew yeah. out. Yeah, he flew okay. out. Okay. Yeah, Batman doesn't want to go to jail. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. you didn't get paid either. I didn't get paid. As you became Batman, uh -huh. uh, and you were getting gigs, you were getting paid for these. Oh yeah, I was doing parties. like many yeah. other things and stuff like that. I was marching as well, doing other things, doing funny stuff on Instagram. Yeah. You know, as Batman, but yeah. I was just like that villain type of guy to spider cuz, you know? Yeah. I was just you. there. How much were you normally getting paid? I know at this one, you were supposed to get paid $1,500. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get a deposit? No, I only got 50, uh, 500 deposit. So you did get a $500. Yeah, yeah. I know he got, and you got $500. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so the 500 both? was different though, cuz that was out of my pocket for him. They gave you 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All so right. basically it canceled up. Okay, so it canceled out your yeah. 500 because you gave it to him. Yeah. Because you wanted him to show up and that would be yeah. part of the act. Basically, the $1,000 that I'm taking him to court for suing for is because my, my daughter just turned six years old two days ago. Do you and dress like that in front of your daughter? Yes, I do. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me. She calls How me How does she know it's you? Because oh. I take off and I just put it on the front I see. You <laughs> but, um, so my daughter's birthday party was like two days ago. I could have used the $1,000 that this guy said he was going to recommend me basically towards her birthday party, so the money that I could have had got from him could have been contributed to her, her I birthday say party. Spider Cuz? Yes, sir. I don't doubt that you, like virtually everyone else, have particular needs for the money. Yes. I get that. Yes. But you're suing him. Yes. You got the deposit yes. because the deposit is so that you show up. Yes. And that's in many kind of things where you, you pay for someone to show up for an event, for a wedding. Yes. And then after you perform and after the, and you, the at money. the end of the event, mm -hmm. you get the rest of the money. That yes. is normally done. Mm -hmm. But this party ultimately didn't take place. The police shut it down. Yes. Not only did it not take place, so you didn't have to do the hours of, of entertainment. Yes. But you can't ask a court to enforce contracts relating to a party that had no legal right exactly. to exist in the first place. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. It wasn't your fault. Yes. But I can't say you got to get paid for that party because the party never should have taken place. It was very clear that during COVID, 400 people should not appear. People were canceling funerals. It was a superhero it, agreement, though. Okay, it That's doesn't matter. I'm not going to enforce the payment of a contract having to do with a party that never should have taken place. Exactly. And it certainly wasn't his fault that the party didn't take place. Plus, you're superheroes. What, what message is it to the kids that superheroes would get paid for appearing at a party that never should have taken place? Superheroes don't break the law. You were supposed to have saved us from COVID. I did. Not in, well, by being there, you it was helped adult, encourage it was adult people party, to it was show up. Party, Jerry. So therefore, on your suit for the $1,000, I have dismiss it. If I see Spider Cuz in Brooklyn, I'm beating your ass in front of everybody. If I see you in Canarsie, it's over. If I see you in Bedford, it's over. If I see you in Bushwick, I'm turning it up. I don't understand how I ain't get paid, man. I'm gonna get it over. Get the coochie snap, whatever that was, whatever. We doing our own thing. We want the case. We outside. Hey, hey, hey. This is ridiculous, yo. Plaintiff Veronica Archer says she gave over 100 pairs of shoes to the defendant to sell for her. She claims she's been sidestepped for months and hasn't received a dime. She is suing for $4,500. The defendant says nobody wanted to buy the plaintiff's old used shoes. So how did you meet? Um, I went to a restaurant and she was doing a promotion item there and she had made a comment about my shoes, how nice they were. Oh. And uh, my friend then opened her big mouth and said I had a large collection. I've been collecting shoes for 13 years. And um, I have a shoe that goes with every single outfit. Uh, just like men do Nike Air Jordans, hoping that they'll be vintage and you can sell them for large amounts of money. So I keep all of my shoes. I did take a video of my shoe collection that's in my house. Okay, let's take a look at your shoe collection. This is an overview. 
My most favorite shoe has to be my Chanel. Oh, I love these shoes. I've had them for 20 years. My Stuart Weissman, when I have to step out in style with the rhinestones. Where's my Manalos? These are my Manalos. Had these for years too. These are vintage. But my favorite, favorite, favorite unique shoe, where are you? Ah, are these. Tell me this isn't a classic. Well, that's my shoe collection. Oh, very nice. Just like Cinderella, Your Honor, I lost my shoes. A very large part of my collection. How did all this happen? She said she was looking to start a business and she was going to start selling things online. Like she said, we met at a restaurant and as you, you saw, she wears amazing shoes. I made a comment um, and then we started talking about her collection. She said that she had a lot of shoes that she no longer wears. So you she, were open to the idea yes. of selling your shoes? Yes, some of the shoes, yes, sir. Some that you would give to her to sell on online? online. Yes. And so I looked into online um, thrift stores. So I looked into ThreadUp. ThreadUp was if it doesn't sell within the first 90 days, you actually get nothing. And then I looked into Poshmark. And so Poshmark also took a rather large percentage. So if we were to split them 50-50, you know, they're also taking, right. you know. So it wouldn't be 50% of, of what you sold it for because someone else is taking a piece of it too. That's correct. So I reached out to her and I let her know those facts. And she's like, you know, whatever you want to do. Did yes. you guys settle on a price for what the shoes should sell well, for? Well, she said they would go for about $4,500 at least. What all I combined? Should, all combined once okay. it was put on. Because some of them are vintage. There's Stuart Weissman's, there's Jimmy Choo's, there was Gucci, there was yeah. a, a now, large Now, what was assortment. the arrangement? The arrangement was she was supposed to put them online. Yeah. I did speak to her. She did put it on Poshmark a couple of times, and then COVID hit. And uh, I did have a loved one that got very sick that I was taking care of. I'm sorry. That, sorry. Yeah. I had to go through some therapy. So I would call her from time to time. I wasn't as diligent, you know, in pursuing well, with, how's the sale going, how so on and so forth. Um, I would assume during the pandemic, fewer people were buying shoes because they were staying home. But you would think that they would be buying more because they're online doing nothing. So I'd call and then she'd be like, well, you know, I'll give you a call back. And I kept feeling like she was avoiding me. Okay, so. but what was the final arrangement? Well, the arrangement was I was supposed to get 50-50. Uh, okay, so you gave her the shoes to sell yes. online. And whatever she sold, you'd split the profit 50-50. That's correct. Okay, and what about those shoes that didn't sell? She said if they weren't going to um, an online, she would take them to a consignment store. She would even try to sell them for stuff. As you can see, Exhibit A and B, I did list them on Poshmark. But when I look at some of the prices, it's anywhere from $15 to $25. Here's one at $35. But generally, they average about $20 something dollars. Is that correct? Yes, because okay. that was about the running There's one price for yeah. on their site for them. OK, and how many shoes did you sell? None. I didn't get any, any hits at all on the site. Okay, how long after you originally started in this together, they first went on, did you let her know that we've sold nothing? I don't know about, if we yeah. ever had that conversation, whether or no. not. I think she had asked if they had sold. And every time she'd ask, you'd say, no, we haven't sold we anything. We haven't sold any. So when it was obvious nothing was going to be sold, did she say, could you send me the shoes back? So what happened? I think we had that conversation. No. I was calling her and she was like blowing me off. I'll go, call you back. I'll call you back. This went on at least five or six times. And so she, you're she was, saying for several months, yes. you inquired, where are my shoes? Yes. And you got no answer or no. were I'll call you back. Okay. And I never got, I was getting a runaround, Your Honor. Okay, but was there ever, in the initial conversation, would you have said, did we sell any? I didn't originally ask her that. And she said no. And she said no, but I'm going to continue to try. Okay, where are the shoes now? So I had taken on about 100 pairs of her shoes. And yes. so they were in my laundry room that they were, you know, safe so that nobody could, yes. you know, do anything with them. But, you know, as time went on, people were tripping over them. So we moved them to the garage. Okay. With my kids, they grew about a foot in. We moved all of their clothes also into the garage. Yeah. And... Um, they got donated. Wow. 
donated. Oh, you, was that a mistake or you? It was the first time I'm hearing this, Your Honor, okay. and I'm very upset. It was a mistake, so my, you know, we had boxes and- And when you donated, were you conscious of, gee, this bag is full of shoes? No. Honestly. I was not. So you noticed afterwards, oh my gosh, we gave away the shoes. Yeah, if that's what happened, to be honest, that's what happened. Yes, yeah, sir. This is very disturbing to me. Yeah. And if she couldn't sell the shoes, she should have let me know. It's like you, if you ever had a baseball card collection. Yeah. Wow. I had the entire 1952 Topps collection, which is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. And mom just went away to college. You know, what did we know? They were in the shoebox, she gave it away. So I understand what you're saying. Wow. The shoes are obviously gone. And she's being honest and saying what happened and was embarrassed. Not excusing what happened, but it happened. So now what is the fair resolution of this? You met this woman in a bar and you gave her 100 pair of shoes. That time well, I had conversations with her. She was she was, was a young girl. She seemed reputable. She I seemed understand. honest. I was trying to help her start a business. I had the product. She was going to market it. I I understand, but this is what happens sometimes when you're young and starting a business. This business arrangement didn't work out. So she didn't you're suing me. for for forty five hundred dollars. If there are hundred pairs of shoes, and let's say they went for forty five hundred dollars and the company takes 500 of it. That means, at best, you would have had a profit of $2,000 each, at best. We don't know that. We don't know, but that burden's on you. You had a responsibility not to lose the shoes, okay? I know you didn't do it on purpose. So you're not evil, but you were negligent. At best, they would have brought in a profit of $4,000, and your half, because since you were gonna split what the profit was, is going to be two thousand. So I find for the plaintiff in the sum of two thousand dollars. I feel awful that the shoes were donated. It wasn't intentional. It was her responsibility. She was a professional. I will probably not be selling anything else online these days.